Okay guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at the 85-30 and the 83-30 Blackberry Curves. We're going to take a look back at the 2008 Blackberry Curve for Verizon Wireless and we're going to take a look at the predecessor the 8530 which was the newer version of the 8330 which everybody loved in 2008 I used to go to the movies used to go out to the bars and everybody would always ask me what phone do you have what phone do you have and I'm like it's a Blackberry and everybody like dude that phone looks beastly and back in those days Android and iOS weren't as big as they are today okay guys we're doing a flashback look back at the blackberries this is the blackberry 8350 and you might be able to hear it storming like cats and dogs here my power just went out so i'm going to try to do this video really quickly before the rest of my lights and stuff go out this is the blackberry curve 8350 it had that luxurious keyboard that everybody wanted it had a micro usb for charging a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and what this phone had which was cool on the very top it had a play pause and skip button which I've never seen any phones today have those and it works and it works very well every time you want to hit music you would click it and the music would just pop right on and the music player would just play so that was a cool feature that the Blackberry Curve 8350 offered and this phone is running BlackBerry 5 OS 5.1, if I'm not mistaken. It has the call button, the back button, the BlackBerry button, and the answer button. So like when you would, someone would call you to answer here. And you have that uh, traditional BlackBerry trackpad, which works very well when you're surfing the web. And I got this in 2009, and I've never, um, and I used it all the way up until 2013. It works, and it works well. It has the weather right here. Because I had, a, like, a lot of weather apps, and I had certain apps that a lot of people were like, well, you can't get a lot of apps on BlackBerry. Well, you can get the Facebook app. You can get a Twitter app. You can get a RSS feed reader. You can get your email. And BlackBerry is known for doing beastly-ass email. There's no other company out there that does email as good as BlackBerry. There isn't. With a keyboard that luxurious, it makes you want to text and be productive right away. They say BlackBerry users, 90% of them will reply within 30 seconds of getting a email or text message Why the other iOS or Android users won't reply immediately and a lot of that has to do with this physical QWERTY keyboard just being very luxurious and easy to type on I love it because there's no autocorrect and yes you might look at the OS and be like well that looks really outdated and really like cruddy yeah it might look a little uh crappy not all that uh great but it does a lot I'll click the blackberry button and basically what BlackBerry button does, it brings up all the uh, apps. Like I said, it has Slacker Radio, it has Skype, NFL uh, Mobile, Google Maps, um, Backup Assistant, Flickster, Yahoo Messenger, Videos, uh, BlackBerry Messenger. I had a uh, Messenger, I had my bank app. I had Google uh, Voice Search. I had... Point, which is a very good usable app. I had Blackberry traffic app and I'll demonstrate some of the apps right now So what we're looking at here guys is the Blackberry traffic app It's a typical GPS app that tells you turn-by-turn -turn navigation and we were going from st. Mary, Georgia to Jacksonville, Florida and it said it would take about 35 to 40 minutes to get there and it was pretty damn accurate and I think it looks very sharp and very stylish The the black with the white uh lettering just pops it looks a lot nicer than the google maps you can get on. so now we're looking at google voice search for blackberry it looks like the typical uh old school uh google 
And here is the best Twitter app that I still use to this day on my Android device, which is Uber Twitter. It works, and it works phenomenally well. And it first came out on BlackBerry before it came out on iOS or Android, which is pretty uh, amazing to think about. And here's the weather app that I used to use. So you can see there is a lot of good uh, usable apps on BlackBerry devices, which people always think, well, BlackBerry doesn't have a lot of good apps. Well, yes, they do. A lot of people always say that BlackBerry doesn't have good apps, and the apps that were made specifically, specifically by BlackBerry themselves worked and worked well. So I'm going to play. And one great thing about this uh, phone is the keyboard, because you can write like. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and as you can see, it works pretty well. It says, hey, what's up? How are you doing? I'm pretty good, and as you said... Yes, I kind of messed up, because I haven't used this phone in so long for the actual uh, texting part of the keyboard. It has a 3.2 megapixel camera on the back for taking 360p video. Uh, the videos and pictures weren't that great on this camera, but it's funny. The older BlackBerry Curve 8330 that I'll show right now... Like I'm demonstrating for you right now, the 8330 curve, which I can't turn on because um, I guess the battery's dead and I tried to charge it, so I couldn't actually uh, turn it on for you guys. But you can definitely see this phone is built like a tank. Let me take it out of the case for you guys really quickly. And yes, it's in an OtterBox case. And this is when OtterBox was not really known. And they made a case for this beastly phone. It has uh, metal on the back right up here. Uh, it, it's, today's standards, this phone will be bulky and whatnot. It has a track wheel, a very luxurious keyboard. It's a Verizon wireless uh, 3G phone. It has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Uh, it has regular... SD, not micro SD. It has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. At the top, it has the mute button. It has a 2.3 inch display. That's not very great. It had a 2.1 megapixel camera with um with flash, no autofocus. You had a vanity mirror right here, so if you're taking selfies, you could look at this and be able to see yourself. And it had flash. And back in 2008, taking flash photos on a cell phone wasn't that popular. Even the iPhone didn't have that until the iPhone 4. And this came out before that. And it could take videos in the dark with the flash on. But the video on this um, cell phone was very uh, fuzzy and not enjoyable to look at. But with that being said, I'm going to roll some video footage of what these two phones are capable of doing. And as always, if you guys have used a BlackBerry in the past or you're still using a BlackBerry Z10, Z30, or Q10, let me know in the comment section below why do you keep coming back to BlackBerry and what is it about BlackBerry that you guys love. I think BlackBerry to me was my very first smartphone. Because at first, when these BlackBerrys around, the phones that were popular were like the LG NV1, LG NV2, like feature phones pretty much. They didn't really have a lot of smartphones back then. Android wasn't very popular. You barely really had the Google G1 that just came out. And these phones, when they came out, were just incredible. I remember getting talked to by a lot of people every time I'd go out, especially with this phone. So guys, now what you're looking at here is the BlackBerry 8350 cell phone shooting in at 360p. It's basically 360 by 240 resolution. And it was around 7 o'clock in the morning. And this video was shot like three years ago. So you guys can actually see the real quality of it. it yes, it isn't up to, to it is not up to today's standards of cell phone HD video. But back in 2010, this is what cell phone qualities were coming out with in 2008, 2009. You didn't think of HD video on a cell phone. And cell phones weren't really known for having the greatest uh, quality cameras. 
So, you looking at this, you might think, well, it's crappy. In 2008, 2009, this was pretty decent. A lot of people would upload videos like this so their friends getting kicked in the nuts and upload it to YouTube and get thousands and thousands of views. But that is the BlackBerry 8350 uh, video quality. And I will still tell you this, guys, that BlackBerry OS 10 is by far one of the easiest social networks to use. It's as easy as and as iOS, not as customizable as Android, but it does everything it's supposed to do very well, and it's very intuitive and very easy with the swiping. And BlackBerry 10 has the best on-screen keyboard out of any keyboard I've ever used, from iOS to SwiftKey to Swipe. It does everything it's supposed to do and very well and I highly recommend if you ever have a chance to check out the OS itself it does everything very well I know Blackberry in the past has been looked at as like this piece of crap OS but this phone coming from the Blackberry Curve 8330 to a Blackberry Z10 you will be pleasantly surprised how different it is and for some reason Blackberry still knows how to make that badass keyboard and if you're not a good touchscreen keyboard uh, typer this keyboard is by none the best virtual keyboard ever you hear a lot of tech reviewers say this and the pictures you're getting like you see right here are very sharp and very rich and here is some video quality of the blackberry z10 and i know we're talking about the old school blackberries but i wanted to give you guys a heads up to check out the new Z10 or Z or Z30. Remember, as always, guys, to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you've ever used any BlackBerry, let me know what you thought about it at the time. Was it good, bad, or different? Thanks for watching.